Okay, hello everyone, Carolyn here. Today I am doing, I think I'm just gonna call this like a separate, or not call this a separate haul, but I think this is gonna be a separate haul from like a collective haul um, because I got a bunch of things in the mail that I feel like don't really warrant their own personal unboxing at this point, um, but I did wanna open them on camera. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Um, I have this fun box here that we will go through in a minute, but I also got this K-Tab For You package the other day that had my uh, D&E Kino, my First Look magazine, and also um, Nam Juice album. And I don't really wanna do individual unboxings for any of these things, so. And then this I think is, it came out too long ago <laughs> to do an unboxing for it. Uh, if you know, you know. That's what I'm gonna say for right now. <laughs> Except it'll probably be in the title of this video. So anyways, I think the first thing we will look through is my, well, let's just go in order. So I'm gonna do Namju first. Um, this album came out a while ago. This is her first single album, Bird. Let me zoom in so you can actually see. Um, and I got this pretty late. She made a comeback the same week as Wano's debut and D&E. &E. And if you don't know, A Pink are actually my female ultimate girl group. Female ultimate girl group. My ultimate girl group. So I was like, I have to buy this album, but I... And it's a single album and I feel like it can wait a minute. So I ended up buying it with the First Look magazine and the Kino just to save on shipping. Um, but yes, the only song on here is Bird. To be honest, was not expecting Bird to sound like that. Um, I just, yeah, I'm not like the biggest fan of the song, but I am super proud of Namju. She looks great in this album, so I really wanted to support her and I bought her album. Um, so yes, this is the CD in a clear jewel case. I almost said Pletus. Um, Play M, what are you doing? I've seen your packaging for Victon. I've seen it. What are you doing? giving Namju dust. But yes, this is the CD. And then uh, there is a tiny photo book that I'll just flip through super quickly. Let me just get my stuff out. Like I said, I don't want to do like a full unboxing, but I will just flip through this super quick um, because I really like the way that she was styled this comeback. And I, I really wish I liked the song a little more, like truly wish I liked the song a little more. So go this way. Didn't like pay attention because I was so preoccupied with D&E &E, and I just feel bad because Namju is amazing and she did amazing and I'm so proud of her for releasing this single. Um, and now since Unchi, Hyung, and Namju have had one, I want a bummy single or a bummy solo release so bad like i truly want one so bad or a bomi chorong subunit or a bomi chorong and non subunit because non is not the kind of person i feel like would want a solo um that would be cool i would like to see that but i love her styling so much for this comeback like look at her wow if you haven't seen the music video for bird i definitely recommend it it is gorgeous like absolutely gorgeous um but yeah so that is that and then you get two postcards and a photo card so this is the postcard first one and then this is the other one i think there's four because there's letters on the back so i think they spell out bird but I'll probably just keep these two, super cute. And then I don't know how many photo cards there are, but the one I pulled has a red back and this is what it looks like. So cute, Bob Namju, oh my goodness. So I really, really like this card and I'm happy that I have it. I'll just add this to my like random Hyung Bungie <laughs> A Pink solo page in my um, binder and I'll put the postcards somewhere. I think I have a spot for these in my binder. Otherwise, I'll make them make one because these are gorgeous. So yes, super proud of Namju. Super, super happy to have this album. I'm not gonna. I'll just put these back in the suitcase. I'll move on. Okay. Next, we'll do the Kino. So D&E released a Kino, which is typical for SM. They also have a special version of the album coming out, um, which I have already pre-ordered two copies of it. So that will be coming next week with my second set of treasure albums. But yes, you get two photo cards out of six in this. So you either pull 
Actually, I think you can pull whatever combination, but I've seen a lot of people pull like either both Dongae cards, both Inya cards, or both unit cards. So hoping for both Dongae. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I always feel like Kinos don't really warrant their own unboxing. Like they're either with the album. Like the last time I unboxed a Kino was for Fantasia. And I got the Kino like super like with my albums or whatever and so i unboxed it in the same video um and then before then i think i, I got the danger one late so i bought i put that in a collective haul i'm pretty sure but yeah um here we have everything so oh the cards are underneath that so let's just see let's just so i pulled both unit cards shoot oh my gosh okay so i pulled the both unit cards so these are both up for trade for Dongae. I actually just finally completed his solo photo cards the other day. Now I need his two Kino cards and how many special cards does he have? I think two. Anyways, so yes, if you do have both of Dongae's photo cards and you would like to trade for the unit cards, do let me know because that would be super helpful. <laughs> and then here are the kit instructions um, and then this is what the Kino looks like. I honestly buy Kinos for collection purposes. I honestly truly do not care about Kino albums besides like the photo cards and like whatever else it'll come with. So the thing about Kinos though is you can only buy one per pack. This is such a tiny photo book. What the heck? But oh my gosh, can we talk about this repack concept because it makes this concept this concept is embarrassed of the repack concept i love the repack concept so much though i really did like this concept a lot i just don't like the garage concept very much um but of course long and Yuck killed it they look great but i'm super super excited for um my special albums to arrive next week because yes i keep calling it a special album because that's what sm is calling it um but it is like a repackage album, so yes, that was this. Next we have the first look magazine. I'm gonna zoom back out. Is it all? I think so. Uh, this is the first look magazine. I don't normally buy magazines, but I did say that I would buy whatever magazine was the first magazine that Wano was in when he came back to the music industry and that happened to be this one. I also did buy one additional magazine because he's actually the cover of it. Um, was it Star One magazine? I do have that one coming as well. Um, I'm coming and getting that with my Golden Child album so it'll be here early October. But yes, um, I have wanted to look at this so bad. I don't even know who else is in here to be honest. Um, obviously <laughs> they are in here. Um, this magazine is also giant. It's giant. I don't know who's in here. Some like pregnant people. Some white people. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Why can't I think of his name now? His like actual real name. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But he was in Goblin and then he was the MC of Produce X 101. Yes. And I don't know why I can't remember her real name either. Oh my gosh. Anyways. Cute. Oh, Idong Wook. That's who his name is. Idong Wook. And then Choboa. Okay. Knew it. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, and then who else is in here? Is that Sohya of Girls' Generation? Who's that? Why don't I know who that is? And Kim Hyojin. I can't say I know who that is, but I do know Sohyun. I am a second gen <gasps> Game Hop stan. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at Cowboy Wano. He posted like behind the scenes photos of this um, and his behind the scenes on his Instagram and the one for this. You go, oh, look at this one. Oh, look at how big these photos. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Oh 
<laughs> Look at that one. Wow. And then this is his interview. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, that's it. That's all we get. His um, Star One magazine is a 16 page spread. This one is how many pages? One, two, three, four, six. Excuse me. Who else is here? This is April. To be honest, don't really care about flipping through the rest of this now. Yeah. Non Jinsel and Chawan. Oh, that's cool. BTS is number one on the Hot 100 is in here. That's cool. Yeah. Don't really care anymore. <laughs> bye bye, Mask Me. Truly. Mask Me is real. My skin has been awful this year. I have to get back into like an actual skincare routine because the masks, man. All right, so that was that. I'm super happy to have this. I did say that I would buy whatever magazine Wano was in first. So even though he only got six pages, they were great. <laughs> Beautiful pages. Okay, this. Oh my gosh. So recently I bought Super Junior's um, Ace fan kit and I got a notification and I was like, oh, my Ace fan kit shipped. That's exciting. But so then I got a DHL like will give you an estimated date. And then lately it wrong. Like it's a day later, like a, a um, business day later than it actually is. So I really thought this is what it was. And then yesterday I got that text when I woke up about my package arriving to uh, yesterday, which was Friday. And I was like, oh, that's super cool. Like, I'm super excited about that. And then all of my mom, baby mutuals started posting about something on the timeline. And I was like, you know what? I bet it's actually this. So I bought this in February. It is currently, let's look together, September 26th. And I finally have my fifth gen stuff. Also, it's September 26th, which means it's Mom Baby Day. Oh my gosh, so nice. The way I'm gonna have to join two next year, I'm gonna have to join Mom Sexes, and also Wana will probably have one as well. Um, oh my gosh, my name's gonna be there in my ID. I'm gonna have to blur this all out. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's so pretty. So that is what it looks like. And then this is what the card looks like. So yes, below that is my number under my left thumb and then my full name and my birthday are under my right thumb. So yes, this is my card. I don't know if I will keep this in my binder or if I'll keep it elsewhere. Because if I put it in my binder, I would have to like um, cover my name. What did I do with my X11? I think I left my X11 actually in the kit, so I might do that with this as well. So let's look through this. This came out so long ago that I really feel like it doesn't warrant its own unboxing because the US Mon Bebe were the last one to get last ones to get this because of COVID. I have seen all of my European mutuals get it. I have seen all of my like Asian mutuals get it. US Mon Bebe. Well, we are blessed in many ways. We were not blessed with this. I'm so excited though. Oh my god. I know exactly. I know everything that comes in here. I have seen so many pictures of this, but I'm still so excited. I truly didn't think we were going to get it in 2020. Like, truly. So, this is um, the tote bag, which is super cute. So, it says 0514, which is Mon's Texas anniversary, and then 0926, which is Mon Bebe's anniversary, um, the day we got our fandom name, which is today, um, September 26th, so this is a really nice tote bag, and then on the side here it just says Mon Bebe, and then the straps are just plain like this, oh he's so cute, oh my gosh, and then uh, we'll go through this, this is the flask, I believe, I have seen some Mon Bebe complain about this, like Korean Mon Bebe back in the day, because they were the first ones to get it, um, and everyone else's was delayed. It says that this leaks if you actually put like liquid in it. 
but I want to put something in it. I wish I had like a bunch of confetti or something from like a concert to put in this. That would be really cool. But yes, this is what the flask looks like. Can't believe Mostex gave us a flask. They were like, you deserve it after <laughs> everything that happened in 2019. Here you go. Thanks, Mostex. And then we got a bunch of, oh, we got a clipboard. I actually might. And when I was in undergrad, I needed a clipboard so bad. Lots of eggs. You're a couple years late. <laughs> Go out to the barns and do studies and stuff. And so I always needed a clipboard. But wow, this is real cute. In my adult life, I don't really have a use. Actually, with my promotion, I do have use for a clipboard. But will I take this to work with me? Mm, sounds dangerous. <laughs> There's that. And then... We have this, which is a certificate of Mon Bebe. I mostly joined, I've never joined their fan club before. I mostly joined it this year because I wanted like full access to Fan Cafe after everything that happened in 2019. It was really, really frustrating with everything going on, not having access to Fan Cafe. So that's why I decided to join this year. I've usually just like purchased, um, Wano's merch in the past and then also Kihyun's merch um, as of recently but that's why I joined this year um because I really wanted full access to fan cafe and truly I loved having access to fan cafe it's not it's never been something that's been like a huge priority to me as a k-pop fan until like last year um and now I love being on fan cafe this group car I love these sweatshirts can I say starship why haven't you sold these yet I would buy one. I would probably buy either, like Kihyun's color is pink. Probably wouldn't buy Kihyun's color. I probably would buy either Juhan's color, Hyungwon's color. Those are like two colors I wear all the time. It's literally wearing maroon right now. <laughs> but this is the group card. Nice. And then um, you get, what else do we wanna look through? The welcome card traditional monster X size photo cards because can't have it any other way. I learned recently, so I don't stand gravity. People ask me that literally all the time, um, especially because I was a big fan of Kang Mini back in Produce and X1. Um, I don't stand gravity, but I was watching someone's photo card video the other day and I realized that gravity, I always thought they had the same size cards as Monster X, but they don't. They're actually smaller, I'm pretty sure. Somebody can confirm that who collects both groups, but um, oh, that's cute. Yes, here's all the member signatures. And then I remember when this first came out because Monster X, whenever they win something, say Saranganda Mon Bebe instead of Sarange Mon Bebe, there's a syllable missing, so they can't do Saranganda Mon Bebe because there's just not enough people if they had a additional person. <laughs> They would be able to do Saranganda Mon Bebe. That's what I think of every time I see this. Yes. Um, we have a photo book. I'm going to take the plastic off of all these things because it's not very good. Um, and I'll just keep everything in the box, I'm pretty sure. So this photo book I might keep on my shelf just so I can look at it easier. I won't do a full flip through of the photo book, but I want to look at it. So cute. Oh my gosh. And there's little messages from each of oh, look at you. I love that. Literally Starship sell these. I want one so bad. Even if you do an event where it's like only for fifth gen Mon Bebe or something. Like I want a sweatshirt so bad. I want one literally so bad. Oh cute. Oh yeah. And there's units too. So just like with the season's greetings that I did not buy. Look at this photo. Stop it. Oh my gosh, look at Kihan. Precious, 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 precious. And then we have, oh, so cute. Shout out to Mini Hack. I love how this, when was this taken? Probably like early 2020 late 2019 they took these photos and Minyak went from blonde hair to black hair and now he's blonde again <laughs> not like this color blonde he's like a he's like a wano blonde so cute 
<laughs> this book. Oh my gosh, Young Lion, so cute. We have Minyak. I like Minyak's color shirt too. That's actually closer to what I wear. Sorry, young one. I'd probably buy this one. I kind of like Shona's though too. So cute. We didn't see any photos of Juhan. Hold on. Oh, we did see photos of Juhan. We saw photos of all of them. Okay. It's like Juhan's so cute. Oh my god. I didn't get a good look at this page. Okay. So that's the photo book. And then you got two sets of cards. I literally almost bought, like just went and bought key hands recently on Makari because, but yes, as you can see, we have show news cards in the front. So I'll take them out and we'll go through both sets of cards. Actually, I want to go through the ID cards first. Yeah, this like sticky stuff is not great. The plastic's like not strong enough for how strong the adhesive is. I don't know why I called it sticky stuff. It's very obviously called adhesive. So here is show news. All the backs are the same. Um, we have Minyuk, Kiyan, Changwan, Juhan, and Changyun. And then, and then we have the selfie cards. So we have Juhan or Shonu. <laughs> That's the back of these cards. Minyak, oh my gosh, so cute. Kihyun's, oh my gosh. Hyungwon, I love his, his hair is about this length right now again too. And I hope it's like this for the comeback, which it probably will be. He probably won't cut it before the comeback, but I love his hair this length. I think it looks so good on him. And then we have Juhan, so cute. It's his birthday in a couple of weeks, like a week from Tuesday. And it's also the same day as the Warno fan sign. If I end up getting in, it'll be the same day. <laughs> and then oh, so cute. Okay, so yes, these are super cute. I'm so happy to have this. I obviously, like I said, bought it for the benefits of Fan Cafe, but you know, I am a photo card collector. I am a merch collector. I was not mad about <laughs> also being signed up to get all this merch. And I'm so happy that it finally arrived. Oh my gosh, I wanted to open this so bad last night and was like, no, I will film. I've had like this pile, like all this stuff that I just showed you has been like a pile sitting in my room for like a few days. And I've been like, I need to open this in a video, but it's we're starting October kind of so it's just been a little crazy like Super M made their comeback this weekend and then I just unboxed Treasures album and yeah so I've been like I have a lot of videos to film but um I don't know anyways that is it let me set everything back up again Monster is literally just tweeted like <laughs> excuse me I'm in the middle of doing something <laughs> about you oh, yes I'm super happy to have this I think my favorite I mean Obviously the photo cards were something I was gonna buy myself. Um, anyways, I'm so happy to have the photo book and I really like this tote bag. I think this tote bag is so cute. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. I have like a Super M tote bag and then my 17 tote bag from their concerts. So I'll probably, I know Chungjun is posting at Fan Cafe, literally as I do this, hello. Um, and then the flask I wanna do something cute with, but I just don't know what to do yet, so. If you have any ideas, let me know down below. Frame, it must be 11, it is 11 a.m. I was like, why am I getting so many like notifications right now? And everything comes out at 11 a.m. Okay, but yes, that is everything that I have gotten the past couple of days slash within the past week that I just didn't feel like warranted their own unboxing, but I wanted to open on camera. Um, probably expect a couple more of these in the months of October. Um, I I don't know if I'm gonna do like a collective haul. I probably will do one for like trades, but I probably won't. Um, I'll probably do more of these kinds of videos for like extra copies of albums and like things like this. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see what else I have coming, which is a lot. I actually haven't updated my list this week yet and I need to do that but yes if you want to see what else I have coming go ahead and look in that description box down below and I will see you guys very very soon bye